What's up guys and welcome back to another home video. So in this video we're going to be optimizing GTA 5 for the best possible performance with our PC optimization tool. So I'm going to show you some good optimizations for GTA 5 and some good settings to improve your FPS the best possible way. As you can see right now we're between 40 and 60 FPS on average. Let's try and change that. So here you're seeing the comparison of GTA 5 by just using home. So what you're seeing right now is without changing a single setting inside of GTA. This is pure home. So if if you watch this video fully to the end you're gonna suit yourself with some good optimizations and some good in-game settings for the best possible performance in gta 5 without further ado let's not waste any more time and let's jump straight into the video all right so we're in the desktop to get started you're gonna download our pc optimization tool which is completely free to download from our official website so let's open a web browser and go to our website which is hone.gg and here there's a big orange button where you can download the PC optimization tool. Once downloaded, you simply just open it and the installer should open on your desktop. So now we have our installer here. In the installer, you can choose your language. In this case, we're gonna be using English. And as you can see right now, Hone is installing. Once you're in the application, you're gonna be met with a ton 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 of optimizations. But before we go ahead and do anything, we're going to prepare our system for optimization. We can do this in the boost up tab by starting off by using our junk cleaner. And after we've used the junk cleaner, we're going to use the scan and fix system errors and scan and fix drive errors. And once you've done those three things, you should be ready for optimization. So you can go back to the optimization tab and we can start from an end. So firstly, let's start off by enabling the general windows optimization. This optimization optimizes your operation system as a whole, which improves your system's performance, responsiveness and stability. And now you should see a yellow bar has appeared down here for certain optimizations to work you need to restart your system however we're gonna wait to the end until we've enabled all the optimizations and then restart so let's skip that for now but before we continue I also want to talk about two other things we have two tags in hone one is called feature breaking and the other is called power hungry so for feature breaking let's use disable windows game bar as an example if you disable game bar game bar won't be functional aka the feature will break so be aware of that before you enable an optimization and then we have the power hungry power hungry basically means that if you're using and hone on a laptop for example be aware that the optimization might consume power faster than before however this is mainly for people with lower end power supplies or laptop users so let's scroll back up and continue optimizing so for the next optimization we're going to enable the optimize windows power plan this gives you a custom made power plan which will allow your system to function at its fullest capacity at all times next up we're going to disable windows game bar here you're going to get the warning because this is tagged as feature breaking but i'm not using windows game bar so i'm just going to close this and now the optimization should start enabling game bar is a service on windows that records everything in the background and runs in the background if you have it enabled so by disabling it you're reducing the amount of resources resulting in an improvement in performance. Next up, let's scroll down and find the gaming mode. Here, you can see there's a home gaming mode and then there's gaming optimizations. We're simply just gonna enable both. The home gaming mode makes sure that your system prioritizes the game you're playing, ensuring best possible performance when gaming. Where to the gaming optimizations is specifically designed to enhance your gaming performance on your system, which includes a ton of optimizations such as graphics adjustments, system tweaks, and performance enhancements, maximizing your gaming experience. Next up, we have the disable power saving features. This unlocks all power saving features, which gives your system the ability to operate at full capacity when needed, which is for example, when you're gaming. Next up, we have optimized memory management. This optimization allows you to optimize memory management settings, which includes adjustments for virtual memory, page file configuration, and memory allocation. This optimization will improve your system's performance and reduce memory related issues, ensuring efficient utilization of available memory resources. Next up, we have Disable Windows Services. This optimization disables unnecessary Windows services, reducing the amount of resources and improves your system's overall performance. Next up, we have Disable Superfetch. Superfetch is a Windows service that preloads frequently used applications into memory to improve the system's performance. However, in some cases, it may lead to performance issues. So, I recommend turning in this one but if it doesn't work for you you can simply turn it off again next up we're gonna disable browser telemetry so scroll down and find the browser you're using in my case it's firefox however if you're using google you simply use the google optimization now we've gone through 10 really good optimizations you can use in hone to improve your system's performance so let's try and load up in the game and see how it looks in game and note 
that this is without changing any setting in game yet. So we're finally in game and as you can see we're running between 90 and 100 FPS right now and this is by just optimizing with the PC optimization tool. So as you guys can see it made a massive difference. So now let's look at some of the in game settings to make this even better. Simply just follow what I'm doing. Once done, you're gonna need to restart your game and load back in. And then let's look at the difference. So now we're back in game with the settings changed. And as you can see, the graphics look terrible, but the difference, it's almost non-existent. The FPS is quite literally almost the same. So as you can see, Hone made a massive, massive difference, but changing the in-game settings gave us maybe four or five more FPS. So if you're satisfied with the result, make sure to leave this video a like, subscribe, and hopefully you found this video helpful and we'll see you another time.